Hi, you're listening to Kate Palmer from sparkletart.com. And this is another starburst technique for Lindy's Stamp Gang. This one is crumpled cardstock. I'm going to be using three colours of starbursts. You can use sprays or stains, it doesn't matter for this. A water mister and a piece of white cardstock. Now, I don't know how many of you have tried to crumple your cardstock before, but I know you would have found out that if you try and do that while it's dry, it tears and you get feathering along your creases. Generally, it doesn't work out that well for you. Sometimes it even rips. Now, the secret to crumpling cardstock is to mist it with some water first. So to start with, spritz your cardstock generously with water. Now you could do this on one side, but I've found that I get better results when you do this on both sides of the cardstock, so it's nice and damp. Next, you're going to want to leave this for a few seconds so that the water has time to soak into the cardstock. 10 or 15 should do it. Carefully pick up your cardstock and start crumpling. Now, you may find that you don't get enough texture in the first crumple. So spread it out. Oh, this one's not quite textured enough for me. So crumple again. You can see I'm wadding this into a nice tight little ball. And because I've spritzed it with water, no tears. And it looks fantastic. Now, you don't want to flatten this out completely. You'd like to keep a little bit of that texture for when you spray it with your starbursts or pounce it with your starburst stains. But just make sure it's flat enough so that it will actually dry relatively flattish. With this technique, you will need to either flatten this under a book when you're finished or um, iron it under a dry iron, no steam, just to flatten this out. So you'll get the look of all the texture, but you'll have a nice flat piece of cardstock that you can use on your scrapbook or journal or card making. I'm starting with Wake Me Up Before You Go Gold, which is one of the new colours from Lindy Stamp Gang. And just spritz this randomly over the cardstock. You don't need to cover everything. Next I'm going to be adding the Hottie Patootie Hot Pink. Now if you like those two colours just by themselves, you can leave it there. But I'm going to do something a bit wild and add some Afternoon Delight Denim. Now this is a much darker colour. And then I'm going to go back in and add some of these other colours back over the top so that they all blend. You can hurry this one up with a heat gun if you like, but um, I love leaving things to air dry. It's a much more subtle finish and things blend a little bit better. So I'm going to leave this one alone and I'll come back a little later and show you what this looks like. This is what my crumpled background looks like now that it's dry. And you'll have to admit the odd combination of colors I used. You had your doubts, didn't you? Well, as you can see, it turned out beautifully. That afternoon delight denim has just added a few bits of deeper colour and the gorgeous spritz over the top of wake me up before you go gold has just added this amazingly pearlescent sheen to the entire piece. How can you resist? Yum yum. Looks like that really expensive metallic tissue card that you can buy. Um, Believe me, I've spent quite a bit of money on that kind of stuff, so I was really impressed to be able to make something like this for myself. Up close, you can see it's still got all that beautiful texture. If that amount of wrinkling didn't suit your project, what you would then do is take a dry iron, no steam guys, just drip dry iron, sandwich this between two pieces of clean white cardstock. You do not want to put your iron directly on the shimmer, unless you'd like some sparkly clothing. So between two sheets of white cardstock, steam off, 
and then give this an iron and that will iron out all of those wrinkles but you will still be left with the texture or the look of texture from the wrinkles. Now I just love the crinkly feeling so I'm not actually going to iron this piece. I'm going to use it just as is. If you'd like to leave yours wrinkly you just need to use a glue that's a little bit more tacky than normal or something like diamond glaze or glossy accents where you can adhere pretty much anything to anything else and that will settle into some of the wrinkles and stick down whatever you want to put on top. Aren't those colours gorgeous? I just love how that turned out. It feels really summery to me. So I hope that's one more idea to put in your little technique toolbox for using Starbursts from Lindy Stankin. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.